everybody. Welcome to another Farmer's Union Coffee Tasting. My name's Joe, but you could call me Java Joe. Today I'd like to share a wonderful coffee with you guys. This coffee is from Nicaragua and we call it the Hinotega Community Coffee. There's a couple of great things about this coffee that make it oh so very special. So first, the first thing that's so great is the quality. They just are obsessed with producing wonderful coffees and it shows in the way that it tastes, it shows in the way that it looks. It's just a really solid, high quality coffee. The next thing, which I think is even cooler than this coffee tasting great, is that the folks in Hinotega have decided instead of pursuing a costly certification like Rainforest Alliance or Fair Trade, they've decided to funnel those resources into purchasing and protecting the rainforest surrounding their farms. We don't know of anybody else doing this and we think it's one of the coolest things we've ever heard of. Coffee likes to grow in rainforest. That decision really shines through in the cup. You can taste the rainforest. All right, so after all that, you're probably asking yourself, what in the world does this coffee taste like? And I'm here to tell you what in the world this coffee does taste like. So let's give it a whiff, let's give it a sip, Let's, let's see. Mm. Well, firstly, I can tell just by tasting it that the people growing this, the people sorting this, the people processing this, they really, really spent a lot of, of time and attention to detail when they were processing, sorting, drying. It's fantastic. It tastes a little bit like hazelnuts. It tastes a little bit like a nougat, uh, like the nougat in a Snickers bar. Tastes a little, I get some chocolate notes in there. I get some, a little bit of citrus, maybe maybe some kumquat, maybe some tangerine, a little bit of plum or even dried plum. In the finish, you get some florality, you get some honeyed notes, you get caramel in there. This is an outstandingly good coffee. It's clean, it's wonderful, it's approachable. I think anyone can enjoy this coffee, no matter who you are. I, I think it's just great. So a lot of people, they ask us, hey, those tasting notes, are those really, does that coffee really taste like that? Or are you just telling us a silly joke? Th this coffee tastes a lot like coffee, but it also tastes a lot like a bunch of other things. So coffee has more flavor compounds in it than any wine. Um, it's very, very chemically complex. And as part of that, you could just look at this this is all the flavors. This is called the flavor wheel right behind me. And those flavors are all in coffee, depending on how it's, how it's grown and how it's roasted and how it's prepared. Coffee is so complex and, and, and interesting and it has a bunch of flavors locked up. If you're willing to pay attention, if you're willing to taste and take the time to, to sit down and just enjoy the experience. If you'd like to try this coffee while you're kayaking down the McKinsey, just head on over to FarmersUnionCoffee.com. If you'd like to try this coffee while you're driving your repurposed school bus with chickens on the top to lay your eggs, just head on over to FarmersUnionCoffee.com. Get yourself a bag. See what, see what you're missing out on. Have you tried our coffees yet? If you haven't, why the heck not? Why are you on our email list if you haven't tried our coffees? Try them. Go to FarmersUnionCoffee.com and put this in your cup.